Now, to the feature uh, that I am most surprised by, I would say it's actually the lack of a feature, and that is th that there is no housing. I, I genuinely thought that now would be the time that Blizzard would announce housing. I have a whole video coming out probably tomorrow or the day after, talking about Ian's reasons for why housing isn't implemented in the game already. Uh, and this comes from someone that I don't want a house. I, I don't give a shit about housing. But I do think as a feature, the fact that out of all of the top five MMOs on the market today, World of Warcraft is the only one that doesn't have housing. That's not good. Uh, so that really does sort of, uh, that surprised me, qu quite frankly. The feature that I'm most excited for, though, is dragon riding. I think dragon riding has an incredible um, amount of um, potential. I, I think... I think as far as flying goes, I've made this point uh, in multiple videos in the past. I hate flying. I think flying in World of Warcraft is one of the worst systems that World of Warcraft have ever implemented. Uh, almost bar none. And the reason I hate it so much is flying takes away from the game. It removes actively from the game. It adds nothing to the game. Now, before you go, uh, Akalon, actually, it allows me to travel quicker yeah, that's a problem, because it also allows you to skip massive parts of the world. I'm not against flying being in the game, if flying actually adds to the game. So if flying becomes part of the content, and the content is built around flying eventually existing. So, what if there are vast areas on a map that can't be explored unless you have flying? So there's actually, like... A, a massive swath of content that you need flying for. That's fine, because now flying becomes a way to access more and more content. In the past, that has never happened. In the past, the way that World of Warcraft have always set things up is, years flying, now you can skip about 70% of the world. Yeah? Like, you can just skip it, because we've given you flying. That's not really additive to the overall experience of people. The way we unlock flying have almost always been creatively null and void because it's, it's linked to this weird achievement that no one gives a shit about and everyone actually hates. Um, I don't think Blizzard have ever really nailed the way that flying should work in a game. And I feel like dragon riding is the answer to that because there are going to be places on the map that isn't accessible at first because you don't, you can't fly long enough or high enough on your dragon yet. But it's also going to lead to some very interesting puzzles. For example, I just learned that Blizzard actually has a, a complete team of people working on the open world, uh, creating things like jumping puzzles and, and sort of maze solutions and flight and stuff like that. So things for people to do in the open world that is just going to be fun and interesting and maybe have achievements connected to it. You know, so open world stuff that you can dive into that doesn't require you to join a party, for example, which I think is going to be really awesome. It's something that World of Warcraft desperately needs, and I'm, I'm in love with the fact that, that we're finally going to have things like that. Um, you know, and it's also going to lead to people trying to do stuff with dragon riding that maybe they shouldn't be able to do, but they're going to try it anyway. So maybe jump off a very high mountain, get as much speed as you can, turn just at the bottom and then see how high you can go so you can get up this peak and then collect whatever the fuck is on top of it. So it's going to allow you to do some really crazy things and try to push the system maybe further than what you could. Um, and I think there's a lot of potential for the system to replace what flying has become in World of Warcraft and maybe take it uh, further, as it were. The one part of this system that I think Blizzard should absolutely look into is the exclusion of all other mounts in, in the game as a result of this. So maybe try and I don't even really, I've, I've sort of rethought my position on that from my last video, where I don't think they should add the other mounts into the game as a way of flying. I think they should add the other get mounts in the game to the dragon riding system. And the way you would do that potentially is by allowing for different um, groups of mounts. So for example, all of your dragons is dragon riding. But then all of your horse mounts goes under a different group and system. All of your um, uh, wyvern mounts go under a specific system. And all of these are leveled 
as one thing. So, you know, once you have your horse, you learn new skills with your horse, how to fly with your horse and all that shit. And then all of your horses benefit from that skill. And then the same for your wyvern mounts, the same for your mechanical mounts. You know, all of them have very unique skills that really work to their strengths, but also their own weaknesses, right? So you have these groups of mounts and each of them have their own riding system. And in this, I actually feel like the people that's going to immediately complain and go, well, fuck you. I want to get on my mount and I just want to auto fly. No. A game is not to be played on auto. If you want that, go play a mobile fucking game. There's plenty of them that will allow you to hit a button and it will just auto play. Games are meant to be played, which means you should be actively involved in whatever you're doing. If you want to fly somewhere, there should be an active component to it. Not just go up high so you don't fly into trees and then hit auto run and there you go, right? You're off. You're, you, you'll go have a cup of coffee. You'll get back when you get there. No, games are meant to be played. If you make it fun for people to actually play the game, they're going to play it. And, and I want that. I think that's cool. I think that's interesting. I would love to see them actually implement something around ground mounts doing the same kind of thing. Um, not so much in terms of you actively have to be involved, but what if there is a way to make your ground mount jump a lot higher, right? Or like in doing something specific will allow your ground mount to just speed over water even without water walking, right? Stuff like that I think would be really cool. It allows for the game to feel more interactive. And then of course, just ultimately housing should be a thing. How the fuck is it the year 2022? You have Star Wars The Old Republic, it has housing. It has guild housing. You have Final Fantasy XIV, it has housing. It has guild housing. You have ESO, it has housing. You have Guild Wars 2, it has housing. And then you have World of Warcraft, it doesn't have housing. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, how, how do you justify that? Um, overall, I am extremely excited for this expansion. I think this expansion has so much to offer uh, the player base in general that I'm really looking forward to it. I love the fact that it is a full reset of the world, so to speak. It almost feels... Like we have this, um, what do you, uh, how, how do I put this? It feels like we're on the cusp of vanilla almost, you know, sort of like a vanilla version of the game once again, uh, which I really enjoy. And uh, Zerali, it, it does have housing, not in the normal sense, but Guild, Guild Wars 2 has, I googled this by the way, I don't play Guild Wars 2, uh, but I googled Guild Wars 2 housing and they have an instance version in a city that levels up around you as you do things and it is sort of your instance place. Uh, it doesn't work the same as housing from what I could read on the forums, but it it is sort of your place. So it is a place that's pretty much yours uh, within it. How that works, I'm not entirely sure. Like I said, I haven't tasted out Guild Wars 2. It's one of the games on the list that we will get to at some point. But based at least on the forums, it is housing light, or I think someone prescribed it or described it as housing without the housing part, but still kind of wanting to be housing, I think was one of the the, the explanations I got for uh, what, what that system is in Guild Wars 2. But needless to say, it's still at least something, right? Um, it is something. Um, it, it, I don't, maybe it's like garrisons, in which case we could probably say World of Warcraft has housing too. Uh, but yeah, if only they stuck with, with gar garrisons, you know, like if, imagine if they just stuck with garrisons and included more and more customization options with every single expansion, then garrisons would probably now already have been housing. <laughs> you know, if, if Blizzard just didn't give up on garrisons and kept updating it, it would probably already have been housing, uh, as, as it were. So yeah, you know, there is a lot that Blizzard still has to do, but overall, that sort of the dragon riding is definitely the system I'm most looking forward to. And then, of course, just the, the fact that gear is going to be the ultimate borrowed power and stuff like that. Um, you know, but that, that's a whole different discussion. 